this fine morning to you. Top of this fine morning to you. It's kind of scenic over here. We're in Kentucky, and there's a weasel over there. He's a Kentucky weasel today. We're at the Flying J. We just woke up. We drove really late last night yet, and since we got here, we had a shower yet. Got to bed at about 3 a.m. So it's close to noon already. But uh, we can get home in two days from here. That was the goal, right? We wanted to get home in two days. So today's Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. I hope you stayed up late yesterday and slept in today. I did, except I was working. But I hope you had fun. I had fun. I like my job, so it's not really a job. I sort of just wander around. Anyways, this truck stop didn't even fill up last night. It was so weird. It was only half full. At like three in the morning. I've never seen a truck stop in this area of the States so empty at night. But I guess I lucked out. The internet here was awesome too. Excuse me, Mr. Weasel. Mr. Weasel. He's busy. I'm busy running, man. Weasel. The diesel weasel. Oh, he's too busy right now. I'm not really forcefully calling him either. Watch this. <clears throat> Diesel! Come here! Good boy. Good boy. You need a hearing aid, buddy? I was calling you. I called you three times. That's the maximum. Then I get angry. As angry as one can get at this face. Like Diesel? Like Diesel? <laughs> he doesn't care. Man, I'm busy sniffing the grass, man. This grass is awesome. Kentucky grass. Good boy. Ready to go back? This is something some of you might take for granted down here. Garbage cans at the back of the truck stop. Look at that. Lined up all the way along there. See that? Garbage cans. Promotes people to throw their garbage in the trash. I'm going to say most of the truck stops, at least in western Canada, where I drive mostly, when I'm in Canada, a lot of them, the Flying Jays, do not have garbage cans at the back of the truck stop. The only garbage cans they have are at the doors or at the pumps. And they're always overflowing with everyone's garbage because you know, like, truck drivers, we got garbage, what? We got garbage, we, we live, we eat garbage. So we gotta throw it away somewhere. So most like Flying J's in the States and other truck stops will have garbages for us at the back here, right? It also promotes people when they're sweeping out their trailers not to dump all their garbage like I've been showing you behind their trailer, rather put it in a garbage can, right? It's smart. Truck stops in Canada, where I'm from, so far hasn't haven't really caught on to that idea that, oh, maybe these guys need some garbage cans. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I want to get a, a camera strap for diesel. I know lots of you have been sending this link to me. You can get a dog strap for diesel, and then the GoPro would sit pretty much right back here, right? Oh, just keep walking, diesel. Just... And you can see where he goes. And we call it the diesel cam or something, or the weasel cam. Yeah, that's, like, that's it, the weasel cam. So I'm looking into that mount, guys. I gotta go get it yet. Eventually. I kind of had a, an expensive month, so it won't be this month <laughs> or next month. Maybe for Christmas I'll get it for him. Or for the vlog. I'll, I'll get you guys a Christmas present. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go and eat some breakfast and then we're gonna hit the road. Alright, Diesel, shall we go? It's quite the morning here already. <laughs> we woke up. Went inside, well first we walked Diesel there, then we went inside, had breakfast, came back outside, did the pre-trip, went and got fuel, scaled, had to go and get my scale ticket. And now we're off. Off on the road, getting a late start today, so we're gonna be driving into the night, that's for sure. It is hot outside, it's beautiful. All right, let's get ourselves back on the freeway here. There we go. What a beautiful day. What a great way to start the day. Look at this beautiful weather. Tell it's warmer outside because my engine fan likes to kick on a little more often. 
That's okay. This is gonna be a good day. We're just leaving Catlettsburg, Kentucky.
bridge will be in Ohio. Look at that impressive skyline. Very nice. Chevy rocket, uh, Chevy Corvette rocket. I'd call it a rocket because it sure looked like one just rocketing by. Chevrolet Corvette. Just because you own it doesn't mean you gotta find out how fast it goes. Keep left onto US 50 West. But it sure is tempting, I tell you what, I'd want to find out too. I'm not saying I'd do it. But I definitely look for opportunities to take it to a private track where I can find out how fast it goes. Or you can do what some people do and just, you know, Google it. That always works. How fast does my car go? Google has all the answers. Come on, truck, pull. taking me. We're gonna go right past downtown, all right. I remember this, I've been here many times. Okay, here we go. Drive 1.6 kilometers, then take ramp on left to US 50 West. Yes, man. of you live in Cincinnati here? Any of you live out here? In 1.3 kilometers, take ramp on left to US 50 West. Didn't you just tell me that, Mandy? You, literally, you just told me that. Ooh, fancy buildings. Can you imagine living right downtown in a big city like this? That'd be nuts. I mean, it'd probably be fun. I couldn't do it forever. But I'd definitely try it out for like a little while. Hang out downtown. I wouldn't want to like live there permanently, but. Nice. I wish I would have set up my other cameras outside the truck when I was stopped. To the US 50 West. Then keep right. Come on, Mandy, I'm talking. Like I was saying, yeah, well, last time I was stopped, I wish I would have set the camera up outside the truck, giving you a better angle. I forgot that I was going to be going through this scenic little downtown here. Keep right on ramp to I 75. Mandy, thank you. Yes, I know. Good thing she talks to me, though, otherwise, sometimes I, I need her to do that, so. Keep right on ramp to I 75. You just said that, though, Mandy. You're kind of repeating yourself here. Oh, big move, big move! Didn't really cut me off, but that was still illegal, my friend. Oh well. What you gonna do? No one cares enough to do anything about it. Well, here in Ohio, somewhere at the Loves. We don't stop at Loves very often, but. Needed to make a pit stop, and Loves was available, so here we are. Nobody's here. Loves are not as popular, in my opinion, as the Flying J's and TA's and Petro's and whatnot. It's a smaller chain. I don't know who owns them. I think Loves is affiliated with something else, or, isn't it? Or is Loves independent? It might be independent. Very much like Pilot. They remind me of Pilot's. Anyways, oh, I'm tired already. We've got a long way to go yet. How far have we gone today? Well, that's fuel. Come on, come on. We've only driven three hours today and the sun is going down. I have a feeling we'll be driving late into the night. Late, late into the night. Isn't that right, Diesel? 
Oh yeah, man, but we slept late, so we got lots of energy. We're good to go. Something is rattling over here. Something is always rattling. I hate rattles. So I don't know how much we're gonna get to vlog today, guys, because it's gonna be dark right away. Well, we're gonna be driving through Chicago, so before I drive through Chicago, I'll make a stop. I'll try to get the camera up there and outside the trucks. So you get a, maybe we'll get like a nighttime ride through Chicago or something. I'm hoping that'll turn out all right. Hopefully the GoPro will pick that up all right. But it'll be a few hours before we're there yet, that's for sure. Diesel, you wanna drive for a bit? Yeah? <laughs> this is how he sits. All day. Just rest his head right there. Observes the universe around him. Good boy. Anyways, I'm gonna quickly run inside, get something to munch on, and we'll be on the road. Let's go drive off into the sunset. How's that sound? I think that sounds wonderful. I hate driving into the sunset. <laughs> it sounds better when you say it than when you actually do it. Driving into the sunset is not fun at all. Got the sun shining in your face the whole time. <laughs> I'd rather be driving away from the sunset, but hey. Whatever. Okay, so we are gonna get on to I-74 westbound towards Indianapolis here. Turn right on North Alvey Road 800 West, then turn left. Well, that's the plan, Mandy. Get back on the freeway. I-74 West towards Indianapolis. All right, off to the sunset. Let's chase that sun. Never been able to catch it yet. He's always faster than me. into the sunset right now that's a little better there you go you can sort of enjoy it off to the left there while we head out this way continue 46 kilometers all right off we go So, walking away. So, yeah. So I didn't really get to vlog much today because it's been just like straight driving. Diesel, stop doing that. Stop tangling yourself up. We literally didn't stop at all, except for once, just for my half hour break. That was the only stop we did today. Took the half hour break and then we continued on. We drove 1,002 kilometers. That is about 600 and. 20 some 622 miles maybe and that is the day where you've got another 620 miles or a thousand kilometers or something like that to go tomorrow yet then we'll be home we'll switch trailers and meander our way east through Canada through northern Ontario eventually ending up on the island of Newfoundland I'm gonna wrap it up here guys you guys know what to do there's links to more of my videos down below in the description all the way up to a year ago you can see what I've been doing in the past how far we've come if we changed for better or for worse and I'll see you tomorrow like usual 4 a.m. central time